Zoho Books ETIMS integration. Before we set up the ETIMS integration, let us take a look at some of the things we need to set up in Zoho Books. Enabling VAT settings. To enable VAT settings in Zoho Books, click the settings icon in the top right corner and under taxes and compliance, select VAT. Ensure VAT is enabled here. Then you can enter your 11 character VAT registration pin. Enter the date on which you registered for VAT and also the date on which you generated your first tax return. This will be the date from which the first VAT 3 return will be generated in Zoho Books. Next, mark the box Enable Trade with Contacts Outside Kenya if you trade with customers or vendors from other countries. Click Save at the bottom of the page. Your VAT setup is completed. Enabling Branches and Updating Branch Code Now, it's time to enable branches. Click the Settings icon in the top right corner and under Organization, select Branches and enable the same. You can also edit the branch and update the branch code. It can be provided as 00 for the first branch, 01 for the second and 02 for the third and so on. Once you've created your branches, you can save them. Setting the tax preferences as tax inclusive. Next, let's set your tax preferences as tax inclusive. Go to settings and under preferences, select general. In the Do you sell your items at rates inclusive of tax section, set the preference as tax inclusive. Once done, click save at the bottom of the page. Enabling eTIMS integration. You are now ready to enable the eTIMS integration. Let's see how to do this. Go to settings and under taxes and compliance, select e-invoice. Click setup now against eTIMS. Now click generate serial number and the system will generate a unique number. You can now note down the serial number. You will also need a token ID which needs to be generated at Zoho's side. For this, you can write to us at support.africa at zohobooks.com with your VAT pin and generated serial number. We will share the token ID from our end. Now, there are two cases here. One, you are already an existing eTIMS user. Then, you will have to submit a change of device request with KRA. Once that is approved, you can submit the commitment form to KRA to onboard eTIMS via Zoho Books. In the other case, you are yet to try out eTIMS. Then, you can directly submit the commitment form with the serial number and token ID given by Zoho Books. You can now sit back and wait for KRA to approve your request. You will be notified through email or SMS once the commitment form is approved by KRA. After you receive the approval, you can go to Settings in Zoho Books and under Taxes and Compliance, select e-invoicing. Then click Connect Now. In the pop-up that follows, provide the time for the stock update. Stock update time is the time at which the stock information is pushed to the eTIMS on a daily basis. Complete the integration. eTIMS is now integrated with Zoho Books. Now, let's see how we can complete the setup to start creating your transactions. Here, you can find the details of the eTIMS integration. You can now click the Additional Details tab and click Fetch Code List. This will fetch all the necessary codes that are required during the creation of your items. Once the code list is fetched, click Fetch Item Classification Code. This is the unique code that you have to provide in each item that you have. It may take some time to fetch the same. You can sit back and relax while we fetch these details for you. You will be notified using the notifications icon once the codes are fetched. If you were previously using eTIMS or TIMS ETR device, you can click the e-invoice number series tab and update the next invoice number here as per the SCU information of your last successfully pushed invoice. This will ensure continuity in numbering at the eTIMS side. That's it. You are all set to start invoicing in Zoho Books. Thanks for watching.